Hello guys, this is BL here. Just recording this video to give you a quick tip on how to manage your objects here. Sometimes your scene can get busy with a lot of objects and you start to get confused by all these elements here. And even if you group everything, sometimes it gets busy. And uh, I found a, you know, a easy way to manage everything. It's really handy and I hope you guys find it useful too for your projects. So I have this scene here which I'm gonna be uh, launching soon. I have this car animated and I don't need to do anything anymore here. I just need to um, lock it or hide it from this window here so I can keep going with, with the rest of the scene. And the way I do this, I just, I just select the car. I can select the plugin here too, which is the plugin, the plugin I use to rig the car. I just click shift, select everything. And I have to go, actually, I just select these null objects here, which is the, you know, the main of the hierarchy, but it's not selecting all these children from this group here. And the way I do that, I go here and edit select children and now i have everything selected related to the car so after that you just right click and you go here add to new layer and here we go we have this uh, a purple color here which means these uh you know these objects are inside of this layer here in case you don't see this window here is because you have to click here on layers. You will be probably working on the attributes and then you go here layer and you will see the layer the layer you created for the car. And you can rename it car. And you have some great options here. You can just solo the objects on the viewport. You can hide it from the viewport. Oh, I forgot to put the motorist because it's not inside of the group. But uh, it's here. Uh, you can just drag and drop inside of the layer. And it's going to, you know, work uh, in the same way as the car. So then you can hide from the viewport. You can disable in the render. You can hide it from the this window. In case you're done with it, you just want to hide into reduce the amount of elements here so you can keep a little bit more organized and you know what you're doing and also you can lock everything once you lock you don't have access to any object in the hierarchy and um it's it's uh very useful these two here i like to lock it and to hide it from the window and sometimes i just hide it from the viewport and i keep going this way and sometimes you know if you have to go back and do something you just unlock make it appear here and keep working so and we can do the same thing for the lights for example i have these lights here this group which is you know a child of this main group and i just do the same process i select the children right click add to new layer you can add to the same layer if you want to rename it like locked objects or something more generic or you can create a new layer and name it the way you want in this case i'm going to name it lights and that's it you can see the color and i can do the same process here which is hide it hide it from this uh, window lock it and hide it from the viewports. The lights I like to hide from the viewports because it's not an object and sometimes uh, the viewport gets you know really busy with all the information of the lights. Let's see here and all these boxes kind of bore me uh, sometimes and I just like to hide them so I can just focus on the you know the geometry in the creative part. So that's it, guys. I hope you found it useful. And yeah, just a quick tip. And I'll be uh, making some new uh, videos in the future. And stay tuned. Um, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.